So in 1991 was your first pilgrimage, and then shortly after that, you start getting involved in helping to organize yeah. you know, the other pilgrimages. Yeah. You know, when you think about that first pilgrimage, what kind of things did you want to change? I mean, what, what uh, things were kind of missing for you and, and you wanted to add to the pilgrimage? The story, the life, the conditions, and the living among the Japanese, and uh, the, 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 the pressure that the children would put on the parents. So almost the, the, the filler, the stories behind it. So yeah. the Sanseis kind of knew what the camp was, but yeah. they didn't know the story. The story, it. yeah. I mean, they didn't know how much money their parents carried or brought into the camp, or, you know, they didn't know a pair of shoes cost $6, and then, uh, well, that's $6 is almost half a, half a month's paycheck. You know, could you spend half a month paycheck for a pair of shoes today or, you know, things like that. They, they don't, can't realize it because the $16, that's all the income they had, right? Yeah. And then the, the four, four, five eight people got dependent on the $16. You could buy soap, you could buy tissue, you could buy towel, clothes, everything else is $16. So, so how do you get that information across? I mean, so you have 300 people how do those stories and those everyday little details come out? Well, usually I, I try to interject as a little bit here and there, especially on the bus. I, I give more detail on the bus, you know, because uh, uh, a lot of people say, oh, you're lucky you got Jim on the, your bus. So sometimes I jump buses, you know. And the last time I jumped onto a Seattle bus and talked about it, oh, you got to come back again. I said, well, anyway... Uh, like traveling up there or traveling back down. Sometimes I just pick up with certain things, you know, about uh, certain areas there. You know, it's just the way I feel like, and sometimes I just keep my mouth, my wife says, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know the people got to know about it. Well, and, and another thing that, that you tell stories, and I've been on this, is the walking tour. Yeah. At the pilgrimage, that you would just you know take a group and we'd just walk and yeah. you would talk. And so, when did that start? Did that start right away? That, that start uh, about the second or third pilgrimage I went up there. Yeah, I, I volunteer. I do a walking tour, and then the first time I only had a bus full. The next time, I had too many guys. <laughs> so you know, it's just a very interesting. Uh, Topic. I mean, I know I know the grounds. I I walk the grounds many many times back and forth. You know, so and I see different things. You hear different things. 